Phrasal verbs. Meeting and parting in relationships. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive into the world of phrasal verbs, specifically those used for meeting and parting in relationships. We'll explain what these verbs mean, provide examples, and explore the contexts in which you might use them. Let's get started. Phrasal verbs are unique to the English language. They are combinations of words from different categories, such as a verb and a preposition, a verb and an adverb, or a verb with both an adverb and a preposition. These combinations create a whole new meaning, which is often completely different from the original verb. So, understanding these can be a bit tricky but definitely important for effective communication. Now let's move to our main theme for today, phrasal verbs related to meeting and parting. The first one is, run into. This doesn't mean physically running into someone. It refers to unexpectedly meeting someone. For example, I ran into my old friend at the supermarket today. Next, we have, catch up with. This is used when you meet someone you have not seen for a long time and you want to find out what they have been doing. For example, I caught up with my college roommate at the reunion. Now, let's talk about parting. The first phrasal verb is, break up. This term is often used when talking about ending a romantic relationship. For example, John and Mary decided to break up after five years of dating. The second phrasal verb is, see off. This is used when you go to the place that someone is leaving from in order to say goodbye to them. For example, I went to the airport to see off my sister. Understanding these verbs is one thing, but using them in context is another. Make sure to practice using these phrasal verbs in sentences, and try to incorporate them into your daily conversation. This will help you remember and use them effectively. That's it for today's lesson on phrasal verbs related to meeting and parting in relationships. I hope you found this lesson helpful. Remember, mastering phrasal verbs is a journey. So keep practicing, and you'll get there. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we'll discuss more interesting aspects of the English language. Happy learning!